Alright, first level in the game, or second, technically, or even third, since there was Spiral's Mountain, and then Grunty's Lair, and now we are in the Mumbo's Mountain. So, this shiny metal thing I just collected is called a Mumbo Skull. You can give it to Mumbo to help you out in various stages, and this little colorful thing right here is a Jinjo. Jinjos are useful for helping you get jiggies. These notes right here can be used as like a currency of some sort, which can help you get through various points in the game, which I'll explain just in just a little bit later on. Alright, I'm having so much fun right now. Even though I am doing post-commentary, I'm having a little bit of fun watching myself play over this, so that way I can check to see if I just missed anything. And that thing right there is a thing that can help you get extra honeycombs. That is a bull. So that is Kanga, who we are trying to hit. Let us oranges hit the switches. And so now it's going to switch over to the live commentary. And I've got my Rumble Pack today. I have it like every other day. And that orange was talking. And that chip looks like Diddy Kong. Alright, another jigsaw piece. And these eggs talk. Where are the eggs? Because here we can learn to use us at Zamo. And so now we're going to learn the ancient ways of the egg. Excellent. Oh wait, that pun's later. Alright, sounds cool. Anything else? That's the bottom C button, and you can shoot them from behind. <laughs> Bird brain can carry 100. Okay, why is everything in capital letters? I just thought of, like, them screaming this to each other. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Alright, another Mumbo Skull, which I'll explain what these do later. And this is a Witch Switch, which I cannot hit just yet. Because I am getting too ahead of myself right now. And now we need to fire eggs at this monkey. I will collect all of these jigsaw puzzles in a bit. I'm just trying to get them all scattered out, so that way it will be quite color- wow. Come on. There we go. Erg, bear beat Conga, me give prize to bear. Alright. So there's one, two, and three, which I'm going to collect. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Alright. One. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the short area and stand on the exit pad. Okay, thank you. I'm actually going to wait a bit before collecting these. I'm just having them all scattered out right now because later on we will be transformed and that can take away the extra time consumed from the Jiggy Dance. Alright, and here we are going to learn probably one of the most usefulest moves in the game. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle slopes with ease. Sounds useful. Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving and Kazooie around with the controller stick. Go practice! Don't tell me what to do. 
All right. So let's come up here, collect some notes. These notes are your coins. Since I seem to be comparing this to Super Mario 64. A lot. I do not know if this is going to be 100% since before I deleted my file the first time. I never even beat this game. 100%. I don't even think I beat it at all. I think I was only about like 95% done with it. Alright. Cool. I was to say climb. I should have said like walk. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Alright, take that. And here we have a totem pole. Judo Mumbles totem pole. Alright. Wow, my aim is horrible right now. Alright, there's a honeycomb on top of here. What you want to make sure to do is make sure there's only one of these standing here. That's why you can do that. Wow, I still have not learned that move yet. It's a ground pound. I'm surprised I haven't even learned it until now. I call this the Beak Buster. Okay, it's just called the Beak Buster. And Kazooie does not like the sounds of that. The bottle says we'll be learning it a lot. And that, there's nothing else you can teach us on this stage. Jiggy! Alrighty. I need to destroy you. Notes! So much collecting. So much destruction. And an extra life. And another Jiggy. And these notes are just randomly floating. I've created a mess. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and collect this jigsaw piece. So yeah, there's a lot to collect on this game. And the world will just keep getting bigger. Until they're a bit too big. Alright. There's an extra honeycomb piece right there. Which what I like to do, I like to just jump down and collect it like that. The painful, quick way. Darn it, jump higher. I need to come back over here to hit the switch switch before I forget. And that monkey is sad. Jump. This will just make another Jiggy appear. And despite almost falling off that cliff, I somehow randomly appeared right in front of that switch. Or right on top of it, rather. Go! Quicker! Alright, come in here for an ant. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower! Alright, got the fifth Mumbo Skull. Which I'm going to finally use it. Alright, this is Mumbo. 
Mumbo best shaman in all game. Yeah, there's fourth wall break in this game. Fine token to Mumbo will help. I've got plenty of the tokens. Okay, you have to beat Banjo. And throughout the majority of this game, I'm going to be using the Tail and Trot. If that's the name of the move. And we are an ant now. Mumbo is happy that his first spell worked so well. Alright, one, two, <laughs> three. And these ants want our backpack. But I'm not going to give it to them. Or else what? Now this part is kind of tricky because of the camera. Because if it wasn't for the camera, this would be a lot easier to do. And I got all 100 notes. I almost fell. Alright. Jump. Yeah, I'm done. Extra life. Jump. Alright. Seven lot. Oh, God. I was about to die right there. Alright. Go faster. Alright. Eight. Come on. And the last two jiggies are right here. There we go. And once you get all ten, you get a special jingle celebrating you collecting them all. And if you're banjo, you get a special dance. And I'm staying as this little termite thing because I still need to get that jigsaw piece on top of the hill. Alright, why am I looking to the left? Try to get 100 in each world as they're needed to open the note doors. Jump, jump. Alright, so yeah, this game is pretty easy starting out. Momo magic is getting weak and we'll turn back or all right so Momo's magic only works for a little while like if you go too far it won't work so I'm done with that stage which that was a pretty weird leaving like no extra celebrations or anything this is a note door this is a note door she would like grunty with one of her powerful magic spells. Open up Jam Jahar. Alright, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. Alright, so we need 50, but I've actually got 100. So I can open up two 50 note doors. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Okay, so what that means is that depending on where you open up, Depending on which world you open up, 